This week, we take another deep dive into the subject of American alligators. So let's learn more about these cold-blooded creatures that call the southeastern portions of the United States home. This week on The Wild Side. American alligator, along with his brother Voodoo, Bayou and Voodoo were confiscated by U.S. Fish and Wildlife. Uh, it's illegal to own any native Texas species as a pet in the state of Texas. So the owners illegally had this animal, confiscated by uh, U.S. Fish and Wildlife, and then found a new home here at the Zoo Imagination because this animal is not releasable now, folks. It's been eating from people in the care of man for too long, and when it grows up to uh, be full grown, which by the way, an American alligator full grown, anywhere from 10 to 15 feet long. And their weight can be anywhere from 500 to 800 pounds. Now this animal cannot be released. I mean, he's been in the care of man his entire life. So that would be like putting someone who's never been able to hunt on their own out in the middle of Africa and saying, all right, fend for yourself. And we have to be able to take care of this animal for the rest of its entire life. American alligators can live well past 60 years of age. Now, like I said, these animals are prey items for other alligators, but there are other predators like birds of prey that wouldn't mind taking a bite out of an American alligator. To protect themselves, not only do they have an amazing bite force, thousands upon thousands of uh, pounds per square inch in a bite, they also have these osteoderms on their back. It's like Iron Man's suit, but only on the back side of the alligator, protecting themselves from any kind of uh, bite also, there's been an alligator that was discovered that was, uh, had uh, bullets actually lodged in its back from very, very long ago, wedged under the osteoderm. So these things can stop even some of the weaker, older ammunition that we used to use here in the United States. Now, alligator bites are world-renowned for how powerful they are. Like I said, thousands and thousands of pounds per square inch. However, all of their muscle, all of their might, is in the clothes. They actually have no ability, no muscle, no ligaments that help them to strengthen their mouth open. So even with my hands, just right here, by the way, the jaw starts about where my finger is here, goes all the way up to the front there. I can hold this animal's mouth shut. But get this, my five-year-old daughter could probably do the same on an alligator of this size. That's why you always see those guys at those roadside shows in Louisiana or Florida, and they put the alligator and they put the alligator's chin like that. They're like, look at what I'm doing. They're just fighting off a biological flaw in the alligator's body. That alligator cannot open its mouth. That's why when you see animal rescue shows, they tape the animal's mouth shut with electrical tape or a, a thinner tape. You'd like, oh, put some Gorilla Tape on that. No, nope. you don't need anything strong. They don't have the ability to open their mouth with such great force. It's all in the clothes. Now, I talked about the murky conditions these animals live in, and that's absolutely correct. But how do they find prey in such dark, murky water? Well, look here at this toe. See how it's lacking a nail? That is called a feeler toe. And they'll shove that toe into the riverbed and they'll be able to feel for things kind of living under the soot. It also allows them to sense pressure changes around their environment. And they have feeler toes on all four of their feet, which allow these animals to operate in such a low light environment. Just take a look at the tail of this American alligator. Look at this. The tail of an American alligator is basically solid muscle, helping to propel themselves up and out of the water two thirds of their body length. So just put that in perspective. A 12 foot alligator can jump eight feet out of the water to catch unsuspecting prey on lower branch limbs. Now they also use this tail for defense. They'll whack, whack, whack any kind of uh, predator that's coming after their kids' eggs. They can also use it to defend themselves against other alligators since this is a cannibalistic species. And if humans are trying to interfere in an alligator's day, they can use this tail and break both of a man's legs with one fail swoop. It's an incredible defense mechanism, but ultimately it's used for swimming, moving side to side as the alligator S's its body, keeping its legs tucked along the side of its body and moving through the murky waters of the southeastern portions of the United States. 
an incredible animal, but the American alligator does need your help. Hunted to near extinction in the 1970s, simply because of the skin covering the tail, the back, but especially right here. This belly skin is so smooth and pliable that leather workers use it to create uh, goods and bags, a different uh, assortment of jewelry. This animal was hunted to near extinction for its skin, but also because of just sheer fear outside of the public. Uh, they were afraid every alligator was out to eat them. This is a success story, however. Thanks to the federal government and the Endangered Species Act, their numbers have rebounded. Thank you for tuning in to this week's episode of The Wild Side. As always, please subscribe right here to us on YouTube. Every subscriber helps to build our audience and share incredible animals like this American alligator with you and your family and friends. Please go back and visit older episodes of The Wild Side and share those as well. You can find us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, or simply just leave a comment about this species or question in our comments below. I answer every question or comment that's dropped on any of our videos. Hey, we really appreciate you tuning in. So for this week, stay wild, conservation rules. See you next week when we highlight yet another of your favorite species here on the wild side.